hello guys welcome back to the channel my name is latifah peel i'm the owner of queen's decor your event one-stop shop where your party rental shop balloon shop and intimate event space located at 224 bristol pike bristol pa let's get into this design honey today we're going to be designing this beautiful bridal shower and she ordered an unusual theme but the theme that we have today is bright to be and of course the B is the focus okay so we're gonna just be doing this uh, beautiful setup for you guys what I'm doing right now is just tying my two sixties in the form of a rubber band method and then I usually take my balloon and just put it into the slot I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time so you guys can see I'm using the back the grass wall has my anchor to be able to create my loop that I need. And I always use at least two balloons to secure it. That way, should in case you use one balloon and that balloon pop, you're not in a panic to say, oh, this is gonna drop. So always wrap it around a few balloons. Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and build our body the way we like. And just add a few balloons and then start to add our accent. I'm going to be going back and forth between my accents and my accent and my uh, um, body just because that's what works in for me in this case okay so the black and white is, is the black and white balloons that we're adding you will see it's considered an accent balloon these are balloons that's not necessarily required but you're adding it to be able to get the design same thing with the bumblebee and same thing with any other accent pieces you see me adding and then the yellow balloon in this case is considered as the base or the body I'm sorry it's considered as the body so any yellow balloon that you see me adding other than my five inch yellow balloon is still a part of the body of the balloon okay I hope you're following along but we're gonna go ahead and repeat that the bees that I'm adding I'm adding one right now is considered part of the accent pieces and as you see the yellow that I'm adding at the base of the balloon is considered part of the body of the balloon there I go adding some uh, um, flowers I think this is daisies me and my me and my assistant was like what type of flower we are two young people who are in we are two old souls who are in young bodies so we just be laughing at ourselves but I'm, we're going ahead and just adding the daisies uh, to the body of the balloon to just give it more of a character and for accent pieces you don't have to do a lot you just got to be strategic in where you place them so on the base right here i'm adding more body with an accent piece are we following along now i know you got it boo so just watch the video unless if you have any questions let me know in the description but i'm just going to be adding a little bit more body and a little bit more accent pieces to, for the rest of the balloon uh for the rest of the designs same thing at the very top that I'm doing here. I just added a body, which is the 18 inch uh, yellow balloon and the accent. So sometimes you can connect the two as long as you're using your 260 to be able to assist you. Now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and put together or design our stage. I found this cute mirror from the thrift store next to me and I'm like, ain't no way I'm leaving it. And it was only 20 bucks. And when I tell you it pairs so well with our ESO stand, I can't wait to use it more. Like she didn't want nothing on the mirror here, but with this mirror, you can put bride to be with vinyl on the mirror. You can put first birthday on the mirror. Like you can do a lot with that mirror, okay? So what you see us doing here is just playing around with designs. This is what we decided to go with for the stage. And of course, I didn't want that mirror just sitting there by itself. So I went ahead, I added an accent, a base, and the floor. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.